Here's a puppy. Here's a baby puppy. Oh, he's giving me kisses. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm here with your recap from this past weekend or two or so's garage sales. I did not pick up much. I mean, there's just been a lot going on here, but I did want to film this because I wanted to get another video out. However, besides from two things I picked up at garage sales, I picked up some stuff from my local game store, and the owner, who I've kind of become friends with, he gave me something really really cool so I definitely wanted to show you guys I I'm really really excited but for starters we're gonna go with this this Game Boy Color case that I got at a garage sale it does say three dollars and that is what I paid for this and inside it has a grape Game Boy Color super clean and it came with a copy of Power Rangers Rescue for the Game Boy Color it even has its back. They, there's even batteries in there. I mean, come on, you can't beat that for $3. And on top of it, there's also some accessories. There's this light in case you want to play at night. It's not first party. It's a Nyko, so it's a third party, unfortunately. And then there's also the magnifier thing. I mean, I've never really found a use for the magnifier. I never really needed it. But that's also third party made by Mad Cats. But all that for three bucks, you really can't complain. Then, um, the guy who was running the sale said that his son had more stuff and he'd be back, or he would be around soon to look through his stuff and then put some stuff out. So he told me to come back, and when I did, he had this beautiful box, um, not in the best condition, but definitely beautiful still of a Game Boy Advance SP. It's like the gunmetal black, or just black. I don't even know if it has an official name to it. But there's some rips and tears into it. But in all honesty, the box itself held together really well. Everything's attached. It just it's just beat up. I mean, it's, it's a old Game Boy Advance box. A lot of people don't even keep these boxes. So it was just really cool to find one in its box. And here's the SP itself. It's actually in super nice shape. I was gonna say, and it did turn on. It's he took super good care of his stuff. This guy, this kid, I don't even know. He 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 was younger than me, so he was a kid. Um, and it does also have the charger in there. I will not be showing that just because, for the sake of trying to keep this video short. I know uh, a lot of my videos are normally not so short, so. I'm going to try and keep this one short, but yes, Game Boy Advance SP in the box, I thought that was super cool. Um, I believe I paid $17 for that, it had a $20 sticker on it and we haggled for a little bit, and the lowest he would go is $17, I understood, but picked it up, it was really cool. Now, I got three games from my local game store. Um, two of them, I, was, I saw them and I... I knew I had to pick them up. They were just, they're not the most common games out there. And one of them I've, I actually never see and was made by Hudson Soft. If you could, if you might be able to take a wonder at what I'm pointing at. But then another one was uh, my best friend wanted to try this game. And for the price, I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, first one's for the Super Nintendo. It's Nickelodeon's Ah Real Monsters. I'm pretty sure this is a platformer. I have played it before a long, long time ago, but I don't remember how it plays. But it was in great condition. It looks it looks like it's in really good condition. I'm gonna have to pop that in, give that a try. The next one was an NES LGN title. Now, before you start saying, why did you pick up an LGN title? It's because it was Who Framed Roger Rabbit on the NES. I've seen gameplay of this. It actually looks decent-ish. I mean, and the card itself is in pretty decent shape, too. Um, there's just a little sticker residue on the bottom there. Nothing I can't take care of event at some point. Then, the one that I wanted the most out of what I saw, and I just, I had to have it, was Inspector Gadget on the Super Nintendo. 
There's a little label damage on the back, but the the sticker itself on the front is in near mint shape. I popped this one and played it for a little bit. It's actually quite a fun platformer. There's the controls are not the tightest, but they're it's doable. It's it's a fun fun little game to play. I can't wait to try and pop that back in and beat it or whatever. Now the main reason that I'm so excited for this video was because I went in on a, this was a separate day from this stuff. I went in and I was talking with uh, the owner. He, uh, he's, a, he's become a good friend of mine. He, we share similar interests. He's a collector as well. He basically started the shop because he decided to narrow down his collection some. So he decided to make uh, replay games. And when I was in there, I was chatting with him for a while and we got on the topics of cases like the drawers that hold Nintendo 64 games and Super Nintendo games and such. And he said, it's funny you mentioned that because I've been looking for someone to give this to and someone who would appreciate it because I don't have a use for it and I wasn't planning on selling it, according to him. And it happened to be this awesome Nintendo case. Now, I had never seen or heard of this before. I did not know these were actually made. I'm pretty sure this was actually made by Nintendo. It doesn't look like it's in the best of shape. However, it is super nice. Um, I'm not even sure if it was made by Nintendo. This could have been someone's own project that they made up. But it's super cool, and it has Nintendo on it, so... I'm just really excited to have this, and for those of you who don't know, this is not the Super Nintendo one. This is for a Nintendo system, which I thought was just super, super cool. And when I opened it up here, it's a bit dusty, but let's see if I can tilt this up without wrecking anything. There's a bunch of, see, another drawer came out. There's actually a bunch of sleeves in the drawer. I'm not even going to be able to get a super good angle here. There's a bunch of sleeves in the drawer, as you can see, they, you just put them in a sleeve and you just pop them all in. I think I have enough games and sleeves where I can fill this baby up. Uh, looking at it, it holds, oh gee, two, four, I can't count, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Looks like it holds about 28 games, give or take, 24, 28 games, something like that. It's just, it looks super cool, and what I thought was even the coolest part was this top drawer. Not even the drawer that holds the games, but I'm going to actually take the drawer out. Like I said, it's a bit dusty, and I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to read it very well, but in here, there's all sorts of, it's a, there's slots for everything, but I'm going to try and outline this for you. This slot that goes up right here is for the NES Zapper and then you have two slots here for your Nintendo controllers and you can throw instead of having to wind it up and try and shove it in there you actually have the cords for both controllers right up here and then like with the Zapper too there's a spot right here for the Zapper cord so it all fits in very nicely and this just I uh I was so shocked. He he gave he just gave this to me. This was this is just beautiful and amazing. I and I don't even know what else to say. It's just it was it's super nice of him to give this to me and this will help uh, maximize the amount of games I can keep in one spot. It'll just help so my bookshelf isn't so messy and just everything isn't so messy with all my game stuff. I was super stoked to get this. I thank you so much uh, to Replay Games for donating this to me. I just don't, I don't know what to say. However, I do know that if they do have a website, I'm going to link it down below. You should go look them up. If you're ever in the area, please stop in. That's pretty much it, though. That's all I got. It's not much, but it's definitely some cool stuff. Um, so, of course, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed and until the next video you guys take care. All right, peace out